Morning Bakersfield ARC. Let's go, baby. Hey, what's up, Nick? I hope things are going well right there for you. Hey, guess what? We ruined our life enough to now be in the best program in the United States of America with the best success rate and the most unbelievable opportunity to transform your whole entire life. I'm going to be coming out there next Wednesday. I'm super excited to go up there and spread the good news with you guys. But I graduated from the Salvation Army four years, three months ago, and my life has been transformed with purpose and the ability now to lean towards God in all my decisions. And I, I receive God's favor. For me in my life, I was a pro baseball player for 10 years. During my baseball career, I used to chase earthly pleasures. I never felt like I was doing the right thing because I was constantly leaning away from the Lord in all my decisions, and I never received God's favor. Doors were closing on me over and over, and even though on a worldly standpoint, people thought my life was amazing, I was struggling on the inside because I had no faith, and I was constantly making bad decisions, leaning away from the Lord, and I never felt forgiven, so I had all this baggage on me constantly to where I went to drugs and alcohol to be able to numb the pain and feel who I thought I wanted to be like. But it's that false hack, family. It's not real. It doesn't last forever, but it disguises itself as heaven and it ends up taking us straight to hell in the beginning because we have a God-shaped void that we're trying to fill, family, and we can't fill it. Our spirit is too big to be filled with earthly pleasures. They're never going to fulfill you. But drugs make you feel really good in the beginning because of that false hack. You think you need them for the rest of your life, but walking right with the Lord and leaning towards Him in all your decisions is what's going to give you true joy and happiness on this planet. After my baseball career, I now got hooked on meth. I got hooked on heroin. I got hooked on the needle. And I got became such a junkie, I became homeless. And I was just an empty shell of the pro athlete that I had used to be. And I was constantly struggling in life. Every door was closing until I ended up being homeless down in Ontario, California. And I finally reached the point of desperation, that gift of desperation which means G-O-D. I finally found God. I finally surrendered. And I said, Lord, take my life. I cannot do this without you. And started to lean towards the Lord. And when I started to do that, I did 90 days in the county. And I was able to get clean off the meth and heroin. I was able to come to my senses. And that's where I met my brother right there. Where you at in the room, Nick? Where you at, baby? My brother, Nick Sopko, right there. When I walked around the floor, I walked around the dorm. And I seen that he had gotten a store and I was just trying to get the, the courage to ask for a soup. And I asked Nick for a soup. He was very kind. He let me have one. And we started talking about the Salvation Army inside of jail. And we started talking about every day as we walked the yard. I got sentenced to the Salvation Army San Bernardino for a whole year, 365 days. And I changed my whole entire life. I was transformed because I grasped the good news. I realized that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And now we can be forgiven, family. And this was huge because once we take our solution out of our body, the drugs or alcohol, we're now left with a lot of pain, a lot of guilt and a lot of shame. We need some way to be able to forgiven, to feel forgiven. I felt like I was forgiven because of the good news of Jesus Christ. And then I watched how he walked the planet for 33 days, for 33 years. And this now gave me a model to be able to who I should act like. And this is going to fulfill your spirit because when you do the next right thing and the next right thing, your spirit starts to get fulfilled. And then you start to feel really connected with God family. And this is very important. I started, I worked my steps. I got a sponsor. I started sharing the message. I would get up and do devotions all the time. I would spread the good news. I got good friends and I started to pave out the road less traveled because all I ever knew was drug abuse. And that was the road I was comfortable on. I used to continue to go back to that road, but the Salvation Army allowed me to start uh, paving out a new road, and I kept going and kept going, and now I've been on this road four years and three months, and this old road that I used to go to all the time of destruction, of shame, of guilt, has now covered itself up, and now I'm going in the right direction every day with purpose, family, with purpose. You have now been put on a divine intervention 
in the most amazing place on the planet. And I know it's not easy at first, man. The Salvation Army is a hard program, but the success rate talks for itself. And I'll get more into that next Wednesday when I share the good news with you guys. But you guys are in the right place, the most amazing place that you can be in right now to be able to transform your life. If I can give you any advice before I see you next Wednesday is start to lean towards the Lord in your decisions early in the morning, right when you wake up. First thing, man, thank the Lord with gratitude. This will have you feel really, really good on where the Lord has taken you from, family. And just continue to work the steps. Lean towards God. I cannot express it enough to lean towards God in your decisions, and then you will become a person of integrity. Hey, I love you guys, man. I'm a Salvation Army. I love the Salvation Army. You guys are my family. I can't wait to go up there and spread the good news. Nick. I love you, bro, with my whole entire heart, bro, and you know that, brother. But, hey, Nick wanted to make me make a little five-minute devotional. We're going on about six minutes. But, hey, we're going to bring that energy next week. We're going to continue to put God first, and we're going to continue to lean towards the Lord in all decisions. And you know how I like to end everybody. Let's go, baby!